Today, Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed Ecto Edition, it launched on the Nintendo Switch. Being available digitally for just $19.99, the Slime Soaked Special Edition, it includes the base game and all available DLC, providing players with 28 ghosts to trap and unlock in an expanded story spread across 10 unique maps. Now, given that we've all seen some rather questionable Switch ports over the years, I thought I'd share my first hour of gameplay with the Nintendo release, providing fellow fans a better idea of what to expect. I should also add that this video, it was filmed before today's release, meaning that none of this footage is from online games, instead fixating on solo matches and the game's opening tutorial. However, given that the game it is now launched, those picking up Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed Ecto Edition on the Nintendo Switch can play online with the game even supporting crossplay. If you'd like to see some crossplay video, comment down below. Let me know. We can upload that here to the channel. But in the meantime, here is a full hour of gameplay from Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed Ecto Edition for the Nintendo Switch. Corporeal manifestations, full-scale psychomagnetic events, exiled Sumerian gods. For a fleeting ephemeral moment, we were heroes. Celebrated across the city, heck, across the world. Unparalleled in our field, preternatural pioneers on the brink of discoveries our scientific forefathers could never have even dreamed of. At even the slightest implication of paranormal activity, everyone knew who to call. Now I'm sure you're wondering what happened. Chalk it up to a huge misunderstanding, a fallout. For a while, I wasn't sure why I was getting out of bed in the morning. And some mornings I didn't. That's all behind us now. We saved the world yet again and we're back. <laughs> the firehouse cleans up pretty good, huh? At one point, some hot shots bought the place and turned it into an overpriced Java joint. But now, we're up, running, and firing on all 16 cylinders. All to code, too. Well, uh, most of the codes. At the very least, the codes we're aware of. For me, it's the energy of the old place. Pure ebullience, galvanic energy coursing through the air. And no, I'm not talking about anything psychokinetic, ectoplasmic, or paranormal. Just good, old-fashioned human emotion. Provinces of the living. Oh, I didn't know how much I needed to be back. How much Winston needed me back here. But someone from the old guard has to hold down the fort, you know? because there's still real work to be done. And that's where you come in. The phone isn't ringing off the hook right now, which uh, is a blessing and a curse. What's good for business is a bad omen for everything else. But if it were up to me, I'd still be in the thick of it. But it's time for a new generation. And that's you. You have the chance to peek behind the capricious veil of life itself and see firsthand what exists on the other side. So don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Well, slimy, really. And yes, that might mean having to pick up a book or two. What people don't know about the Ghostbusters could fill ten encyclopedias. And before you even ask, uh, yeah, I've thought about it. Been approached by some very interested parties, which isn't saying much. Every hack and wannabe with a laptop can be published today, whether they know the science or not. And trust me, they Ray? don't. Ray? Go ahead, this is Ray. Um... Uh, let me guess. The new recruit is there with you? Ray, you gotta let them get to work. All trainees report directly to the firehouse, remember? Over. Uh, well, uh, that's our time. Good talk. Off you go to meet Cat. Welcome to the team. And don't worry, I'll be in touch. Off the and speaking of Ray, hmm. based on the fact that you're 15 minutes late for your orientation, I'll assume you've already met him. He has a tendency to get worked up and can forget that we have an onboarding process for a reason. 
Love Ray like a brother, but he needs to get out more. Allow me to introduce the head honcho, Winston Zedmore. Welcome, kid. Happy to have you on the team. I may sign the checks, but don't go around calling me boss. If you have any questions, don't ask me. Call Cat. That's me. I run operations here. You and the other busters will get your jobs dispatched from me. Any trouble in the firehouse or the field, you come to me. Got it? Oh, and before you go, grab that radio off my desk. Okay, no time to waste, so let's get moving. First up, your jumpsuit, which you'll find in the closet. Pretty self-explanatory what that is. If it isn't, we've got problems. Head to toe meta aramid polymer isn't the style for everyone, but I'm sure you'll find a way to make it your own. Keep your frequency tuned. I'll stay in contact. Now go ahead and suit up. Well, 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 look at you. How do you feel? Ready to roll. That's what we like to hear. Go ahead and pick up that proton pack. Sorry that it's the class. Not to worry though, the base tech is solid. That being said, we have some fun new modifications in the works. Winston's got a tech guy upstairs, but you'll be wielding this for now. Man, she's so freaking cool. Now let's learn how to use it. First up, the particle thrower. You had the toy when you were a kid, like I did. You can imagine the real thing has an actual kick to it. And don't forget, that pack's gonna overheat if you sustain fire long. So make sure you vent the good work. All right, let's try some tethering. The ghost will try to escape your tether by pulling against your pull direction. When you see the tether getting damaged, pull in a different direction to counteract. Already hooking them like a pro. Once you've got tether, deploy the trap beneath the ghost if possible. Especially if another Ghostbuster already has a tether. The trap needs to settle before you can stop the pedal and open it. Got it? And that's how you trap a ghost. Well done. Not many could pull this off on their first day. You've got skill. Now do it 40 more times. Come in, Cat. Hey, boss. What's up? Keep it down out there. The neighbors are starting to complain. Again. All right, we could always just move on to using the PKE meter. Take it inside. Perfect. You got one down there? Sure do. Right here. Eddie can walk you through it. Eddie, are you on this channel? Eddie. This is the only channel you give me access to. Yeah, and for good reason. Listen, we got a new recruit that needs some pointers with the PKE meter. Walk them through it. Maybe give our kind and understanding New York neighbors a break. I would, but I'm a little... All right. If you pass your entrance test, this device should pretty much be second nature to you. The psychokinetic energy meter is one of the oldest and most valuable devices in the Ghostbusters arsenal. I wish I could take credit for its invention, but predates even me. Somehow. Standard ghost tracker. Bingo. Instead of further lecturing you on scientific breakthroughs, why don't I just show you? There. Do you see how it's responding? The PKE meter becomes more active based on the direction of the signal. When you're right on top of a paranormal entity, you'll know it. It's picking up on the metaphysical energy that empowers not only ghosts, but tons of other negatively charged objects. When the PKE picks up the metaphysical energy of ghosts and objects, it'll light up and make a bunch of noise. The screen displays a pattern depending on the type of signal being tracked. A cascading dot pattern means it's ecto energy, whereas an ascending dot pattern indicates a ghost drift. The sidearms will raise and lower depending on whether you're pointing it at the signal or not. The main screen and light elements will not illuminate if a signal is not present, so move around until you hit something. That's it! Congratulations! 
There's a chance you may not die on the first job. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Is that what it was? A toddler without a frighteningly advanced piece of technology could have found that one. Dare I say you're actually pretty good at this? Hurry up and find the last item so we can both move on to the fun part of this job. That's all of them. Good thing I wasn't timing you. My watch battery would have died. You're the office funny guy then, huh? I've been told that people warm up to me. Okay. You can bring the PKE to the lab now. I think I just feel better knowing I checked it myself. So, how was that experience? Congratulations. You have soared up the rankings of my favorite co-workers. Good. I'll need that head start as I continue to boss you around. Hello. Quick, hand it over. This place is wild. Jungles are wild. Chaotic flora growing in all directions with reckless abandon. Everything you see here is exactly as I intended to be. And if you forget, you're as good as a gazelle in a lion's den. Dead. You're dead. Yikes. I bet you're wondering why we're not using the more advanced gigameters, huh? That's the never-ending struggle between science and budget constraints. Looks like everything is calibrated and ready to go. Okay, now that the minutia is out of the way, let's get into the good stuff. Don't think that they just keep me around to calibrate supernatural dowsing rods for rookies, do you? Wait, I just realized that probably no one introduced me. Cat. Did you introduce me? Absolutely not. Hello, I'm Dr. Edmund Chan, but you'll call me Eddie, because everyone does, and it's what I prefer. It's nice to meet you, Eddie. I'm not knowing a single thing about you. I'm gonna refrain from saying likewise. No offense. None... taken? As you might have inferred, I run the lab here at Ghostbusters HQ. That means research and development, full technological oversight, and... The occasional new recruit instruction. If you have any questions about any of your equipment, I'm the one to ask. Only me. Don't talk to anyone else. They don't know anything. Like that cyclotron on your back. I bet you didn't realize that it could be upgraded. Enhanced power coils, frictionless ionizers, you get the idea. Tons of things that you'll use every day out there on the job. Mopping up ectoplasm, heralded as a hero. Uh... Are you okay? The point is, bring me your gear, and I'll make it better. Got it? Good. Looks like that's your cue. Gonna have to cut your orientation short. We've got a job, and I need you on it ASAP. I'd wish you luck, except I don't believe in logical fallacies. How's it going out there? Not in there. There's a rift here!
lucky. I usually don't get out of bed for anything less than a class four hunting. Thanks. Oh, good. Just had a moment. There's definitely something You know going what they say here. about fear? It's just false evidence appearing real. Do you mean... Uh, All good. Just had a moment. This is nothing but your run-of-the-mill, everyday, supernatural occurrence. Sounds... good? I'm gonna be fine. Hey there. That actually worked! I found him! Gotta break this hat's hot! Stay focused and you'll be fine. Very much. Can 
about a thing. We'll have this wrapped up in no time. Thanks for getting up today. Oh, please. Well, that wasn't important. Nothing in there. Please. If he'll turn this around fast, 
you're going to lose. Uh, okay. I'm gonna be fine. You've gotta do something. What the heck was that thing? Listen, this is what I do. Find the ghoul and make it true. Another minion down. Are we keeping score? Huh? Give me the creeps. Yeah, there wasn't in there. Stuff going on? What the heck was that thing? Nothing to worry about. A minor paranormal occurrence. Do you mean a ghost? I was scared for no reason. Drop incoming! I found them! Let's go! Ah! Paranormal activity spotted. Where to run? Nowhere to hide. Listen up, I've got big things, big things underway. Report to the bookstore immediately. Keep this between us. Over. Ah, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Uh, take a seat or stand, make yourself comfortable. What I have to show you is of the utmost importance and can't wait a second longer. You see before you, perhaps the most prodigious discovery known to the metaphysical science community. Look familiar? It's the first, and I mean very first, edition of Tobin's Spirit Guide. The holy grail of supernatural encyclopedia. I finally tracked this down a week ago and it just arrived. I had to overnight it from... <laughs> it's best you don't know. Now, I can't deny that my possession of such an extraordinary artifact does naturally provoke questions as to how and where I got it. Uh, it's no secret that Tobin is a hero of mine. Throughout Ghostbusters operations, the Spirit Guide has been our de facto resource. Even now, over a hundred years since its first publication, it remains the most respected compendium in the paranormal investigative medium. No other researcher, metaphysician, or common raving supernatural obsessed maniac has gone to the lengths that Tobin did to chronicle that which is not of this world. Although some might say, given his sordid later life, perhaps he went too far. Like Tobin, I too fell down a rabbit hole at a young age. This mildewed tome has been my elusive golden goose, my singular vice and obsession. I paid a great deal of money, well, Winston's money, to some questionable individuals who have scoured the farthest reaches and risked countless perils to find it. And turns out, it was right under Tobin's nose all along, literally. It was found in his coffin, resting on his now concave chest. John Horace Tobin had his spirit guide buried with him. Here, a keepsake from your first occult book acquisition. Never forget this moment, kid. It's a big one. You, the
there. Yes, you, Ghosty. Tremble in trepidation, for before you I stand, the magnanimous purveyor of the paranormal, leading scholar on the supernatural, once known in another dimension long ago as John Horace Tobin. I have shed my mortal coil and appear to you now spirit as the gatekeeper between the world of the living and what lies beyond. Behold! Behold! Oh, bugger. Give us a sec. There we are! Today is not your finest day, ghosty, but it is your luckiest. Really? Look to me from here as your guide to what exists beyond existence. Fear not the eternal darkness, for I shall light the lamppost which illuminates your passage. Follow the interminable horizon of the shadowy plane. Release your forsaken soul from all worldly ties for First you need to find your footing. A figure of speech, of course, because as you've probably noticed, you haven't got any feet. <laughs> Get a feel for floating about. Soar to your putrid little heart's content. Your mobility will be key for tormenting the living from every angle, even from below. Some might say that. Well done, Ghosty. Say, are you a quick learner or have you been dead before? Well, never mind it. See the giant schism in the sky over there? That is a rift. Once you enter, you'll be transported to your very first haunt. So, make haste. Welcome to my garden of otherworldly delights. A job's a job, and yours is to terrorize and torment. So, get in and let's get cracking. A bevy of charms and abilities reside at your disposal with which you may scare and wreak havoc. Conserve if you can, Ghost. Psychokinetic energy is a precious commodity. You must cool down periodically, or your powers will not work, including your ectovision. A ghosty's most important resource is psychokinetic energy. Use it wisely. It'll take a bit of time to get the old juices flowing again once you've run out, so be mindful of draining your energy. Never underestimate the rewards of cowardice. Behold! All around you is a world of possessibility. Use every object you can to duck, dodge, and wait for the perfect opportunity to spring your spectral trap on the unsuspecting living. If one of those egregious ghost hunters is nearby, possess an object to hide. While your energy recharges inside a possessable object, be wary. Your recharge rate will suffer if you move the object. One of the more invigorating features in your cabinet of curiosities is the ability to phase. Respawning from rifts is key, so pay attention. If a ruddy Ghostbuster gets you by the gills while a rift is active, you will respawn at the rift. However, this destroys the damn thing from further use. There are three rifts. A full location haunting starts with teeny tiny baby steps. Try individually haunting different rooms to increase your power, allowing for faster energy regeneration. Civvies and busters alike are easily scared in these predicaments, and if you see a floating brolly, that's because objects in these rooms. All right, all right, enough preamble. Let's get to the good stuff. 
Horrification. As another worldly, temporary spirit, you are denied so many earthly pleasures. Therefore, we must fill the void with other exquisite delights. That's right. Scaring the pants of anything that moves. Try it and let me know how it goes. The best defense is a strong offense, or is it the other way around? Either way, these next two tricks will be sure to send more than a shock up the trousers of those banal busters. You see the silly satchels they carry upon their backs. Why don't you quarrel? Face to face! Whereas you and I love ectoplasm and everything to do with it, the living can't stand it. Literally, cover them with enough and they won't... Oh no! What's this? You've become ensnared by the power of the dreaded electric lasso. If, God forbid, you are pulled into the final ghost trap field, it's perfect for you. You'll have a brief moment to try and free yourself, but lo, you have painted a target on your backside. ghostly. Should you, despite all maneuverings, be seized in the final fatal capture, find your way back to me, so that I might imbue you with the power to haunt once more. Whoa, kid, you still with us? You look like you saw a ghost. I know it's the job, but still, you look scorched. Call me delusional, but I, I wager there's more to this book than meets the eye. But don't worry, you and I are gonna figure it out. Anyway, we best head back to the firehouse for now. The haunt begins! Let's petrify the pants off them!
quit buffing around and get to haunting. What a tormented and otherworldly effect you've had on the place! Civilians aren't fleeing fast enough. Do something about that. <laughs> Your persistence has paid off, Ghosty. The haunting is complete.
Rookie, we run a tight ship around here. The second you hear that alarm, it's boots to the ground. Happy to have you here. Show them how we do things downtown.
Keep your head down, cover your ears, and hum softly to yourself. Thank you. Figuratively speaking, yes. What the heck was that thing? Listen, this is what I do. Find the ghoul and make it drool. Do you mean a ghost? Spine, your senses don't deceive you. Call up the guys who are ready to believe you. The numbers five 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 two three six eight. 
But before you call, let's get something straight. What do you do when the ghost is busted? Is it the source universally trusted? If you got a case of Ghostbusters blues, the cure for sure is Ghostbusters blues. Jason's the guy who's doing the heavy lifting. Through rumors and gossip, he does all of the sifting. Reporting and sorting, only 